Hi and welcome to Be Seen on Google Maps. Uh, this was a presentation that was done for Small Business Month last year with the New South Wales Government. And today we're sharing the ideas with North Sydney Business Chamber and the Council and our local businesses. The idea was to get your business online. So we're focused with North Sydney Business Chamber and we're working in conjunction with the Council and the businesses to share these ideas of Google Business, Google Maps, and Google Street View. So um, we've got a few links there that'll actually help you go through with this video today. And the first thing is you could either have Google downloaded, but uh, there's a, a plan of how this works. But in a nutshell, your mobile is a business tool and the police or state groups, fires, can actually send out a community text message accessing everyone straight away. You can use your phone as a translator uh, when you go to different countries or if you meet people in in Sydney uh, it's a radio it's a TV and it's a massive free media social media platform so we'll have a look at a few of those things that we're talking about today so your Google business profile if you go to Google Maps uh, there's all different ways and once you get on maps you verify that it's your business you can add photos you can do a virtual tour which we'll look at later you can get yourself listed on directories and link them to your profile. You can actually get reviews and we'll do an example of that with uh, where we are today. And also, as I said, a great social media platform. You can even do geo tracking, which we'll look at as well. So the idea is for New South North Sydney Business Chamber, we want you to stand out on Google. We want you to have an online presence. We want you to check your information so it is accurate, your times are accurate, and then people can find you at the best time. Uh, you can be found on phones or screens. Reviews, we're going to have a close look at reviews, how we can use that and help each other's business, and we're gonna get you on the map. This is a lot of words on one screen, but this is something that I'll be sharing with the chamber. And you can check all these things off, but it is online as well. So it's just purely to show you that there's a step-by-step -step way of getting online, or you can follow this one. So in my case, I'm a Google Maps person. I share a lot of information. I get 93 million hits, and that's why I'm trying to share that with you today. I'm known as a local guide, and I have two businesses. I've got Stars TV, and I've got AJ Hedge Sports. And what we do is we've got some great things that we want to share with people. We do really good events. And the idea is to try and get that, share the events right across the screen to chambers and communities. So the Google platform, your business profile, there's so many things that you can do, but I'm just gonna highlight a few things. One, chat services, so you can actually talk to each other. Um, a client can talk to you and find out who you are, where you are, and even book in online. You can increase this by sending them through to your website. And it's an amazing platform because it seems to be working. Uh, it's probably the number one platform out there with YouTube. We wanna make sure that your name, address, all your details are all up to date. That's probably a very important thing. I'll check that one with you today. And we're going to be doing some reviews of different businesses while we're even at this event. The event today, you would have found out through Google Maps. Uh, if you look on it, you'll see where we are today and, and what we're doing. There's a whole lot of promotions and we'll look at that one as well. So Google Maps, it's a picture on your phone. This is my tennis center and it's an aerial shot. So I can actually access like a drone, fly over, take a photo, and then I can add all my bits of information that would actually help me. And I add my own business listing, my own photos, and then I can actually help monitor all the people who come and visit, uh, if there's good things, but also if there's bad things and make sure that you can um, be in touch with people and try and work out what had happened. Automatically, this goes onto Street View, which we'll have a look at. And there's a live essence in this map in that you could be in traffic and find an alternate way. Uh, sometimes I'll have a look at different areas so that I can actually jump into uh, go a different way home so I'm not getting caught in the traffic. The Google Maps, some of the best things, you can send your directions to someone else's device. So you can actually 
uh, send your location and then they can pick you up. It could be a taxi, it could be an Uber. Uh, you can actually change your view. There's so many different things that you can do, but you're changing your view. So you can look at uh, satellite or if you like um, more cartoony pictures, you can actually tapping icons and, um, and work out the best way. You can even check on public transport. I want to go into the city. I want to get a train and a taxi. It'll give me the best and fastest way. It also has cycling routes, so I can actually use a bike and um, bypass the traffic. There's all different ways that I can have a look, so I can check on traffic congestion. One of my key things would be to create North Sydney as a smart city. We all get involved. We put our information on, and then people can visit North Sydney from a distance, and then when they come in person, uh, we can focus on events, we can focus on things that happen in the area, we can go to our local parks as we'll show you. So in this one, we have, I've just got some videos and I'm just going to start them up, but what I've done is I've put some AR trackers in Sydney Olympic Park, in Ride, around Eastwood, uh, with some, just some fun things to try and get, uh, we've got two different cultures, Chinese and Korean, and we just put uh, different symbols over signage so that everyone can have a look. Uh, when we're in the shops, we can use um, our Google Translator to actually interpret uh, if we wish to buy something uh, in, a, in a different language. So it actually works out quite well. So with, with our, you know, we're just going to pass on here. I'll start these ones as well. So we're talking about how you can use Google uh, for fun things. So I've set up like a teleport device for kids and we can visit different countries um, like a shooting star and then we end up in Egypt. So there's things that we can do which are fun. There's other things that we can do where we go from Sydney Olympic Park and travel around the world to Japan and we can actually see some sites. So these are things that we can actually do on Google Maps uh, that you can actually do online. One of my favorite things is I'll take photos of today and share my photos on Google Maps. And here's an example, nearly 12 million hits at North Rod Golf Club. So over the span of the time that I'm in places, I'll showcase different places around Sydney. And we can sometimes bring some of these back into, we have a VR experience where you put your goggles on and you can actually turn into a star and do these great movements. So yeah, it's quite interesting when you sort of see how it all fits together. Going to Google Maps, you've got your business. Now we do a lot of photos, we share, and you can see we're at the top of the list here. And it's mainly because we're playing with the algorithm correctly, we're sharing correctly. Some people can get adverts, but um, we're actually up high because we've actually typed in sports in Marsfield, so we're given a location and what we want. It actually comes in and focuses on where we are so that people could find us on the map. With uh, the businesses, we also have a different location, so we can have the same business in two different locations with photos when you bring it up so people can see what they're coming for. There's a place on the map we can even do uh, find that place by touching a button and it'll get you there. Uh, they can ring through, they can go to the website, they can actually book courts online. So there's all different things that they can do and it just makes your business a little bit more reachable. This is the algorithm behind. So that has where you are and what travel you did. But probably the key thing here is how many views people are going and you can see we're getting close to 93 million views. And the idea is that we're sharing photos. Uh, we're having a look at uh, different locations with my phone. I then, when I get home, upload it and give reviews. And it's trying to be positive and making sure that uh, other businesses can benefit. This leads on to, once you're on the Google Maps, there's a street view, which is a 360 interaction. And you can actually show the front of your building. You can show around the area, you can show photos of your building. It actually, you can get a drone uh, from Google, uh, which is online, and you can actually do flyovers uh, so that people can have a closer look at what you're doing. 
So it is amazing when you look at all the different things. It's nearly like a virtual tour, and people can visit you before they visit you, which is which is great. They can sort of see. Uh, you could even find out where's the best parking and things like that. Street view, you'll probably see the Google car driving around and you can wave at them. You will sometimes even get on the Google Maps. And this is a shot of my tennis courts. So I actually show what people are looking for, um, how to get in. And then when they get in, I can do aerial shots of the tennis courts. And I can take photos on my profile and put those in. I can even put in my own drone shots or my own 360 shots. And a 360 shots is where the person's in the middle and you can sort of scroll around and it's interactive with your phone. This one is a virtual uh, experience. So we're just going to go inside the store. And as you go to the store, you can actually put products up on there so that people could actually link this through your website. And they look for little dots, they can get information, they can work out the sizing and the costs. And they can actually book this online. So there's so many things that Google Maps can do. And this is an example of um, some of the amazing things. Now, I'll be heading to overseas. I go to China. I go to different countries. I can use my phone as a translator. I can use it as a map when I'm there and just touch a button. And I can see everything in English so that I can actually get around places. I actually take my stars to different areas. And uh, we're going to China, we, we sign business deals with overseas. So it's actually good to have Google Maps so we can show them when they come to Sydney, please come and visit. So we're actually doing this uh, here and there so that we're trying to make sure there's like a connection. Now with, um, we also use WeChat and Kakao Talk, uh, different platforms that actually complement what Google does as well. So thank you for listening today. If you need to contact me, my number is 044-7827-7788 or 044 Stars TV. And you can call me. I can try and help you. I'll be helping you today in the workshop. And you can even email me. So thanks for listening. Uh, there's the website. And we've also got, um, you can pause the video and take down more details. And I'm sure you'll get a personal experience from Google Maps. Thank you very much.